principles. This is a beautiful dynamic in matters of finance and business. This is, I fill your cup, then you fill mine, then it trickles down and then we recycle. This is just a well balanced machine. Now, when it comes to matters of love, this can be third party situation. This can be you, I'm getting that it's you Libra, who's interested in someone else, not just your partner. Welcome my beautiful fellow Libras to your bi-weekly love tarot reading. I am delighted to have you here and I don't want to waste any of your time so we're going to get right into this reading. I would like to let you know if you don't already, if you don't know now you know, there is a full moon occurring tonight, Friday, July 23rd at 7.36 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now what this means for you is that this is a powerful time to release the things that are no longer serving you, Libra. So go ahead, take a moment now to affirm it down in the comments below, that which you wish to release with tonight's full moon. You may even write it down on a piece of paper later, safely burn it. I probably shouldn't be telling people to use fire on YouTube, but <clears throat> of course it's your own discretion and safety, please. All right, also this is a general love reading. If you would like a reading that's specific to you, your person, you can find all of the info down below to book your girl, okay? And it would not be right to not first. <sighs> Tap that heart chakra frequency to commence your love tarot reading. Spirit. Please show that one to come out. <laughs> My beautiful, lovely Libras, what it is that they need to see. Some of my Libras, your lucky number is four. We have four flyouts that quickly. <laughs> what other messages do you have for my Libras? we're gonna take why does that keep popping out oh my goodness a lot of sevens three sevens here so oh no that's a six i'm so sorry a lot of pentacles all right let's dive into this reading also every friday on my patreon which is linked down below in the description box i do a three card love spread strictly for my patrons you can sign up for as low as three dollars and 33 cents a month with that all right, so a lot of pentacles happening here. Libra, there is a knight on the way and he's coming in or she's coming in with a solid offer. They're coming in with a solid foundation. When I think of the knight, I think of someone who follows the rules and regulations. They do things by the book, much like a Libra would, especially if you're on that Virgo cusp. Maybe you're a little bit of a wild thing, Libra, and this person's coming in to offer that balance for you, not only through finance, but through mental stability, through groundedness. Um, this night, this person who's interested in you, I get the sense that they have a very defined body, okay? They have, and that could attract you to them. Sorry for the noise, there's someone rolling something upstairs maybe someone's going on vacation no such thing as coincidence if you're getting on a plane this weekend safe travels to you libra enjoy yourself but you'll notice that the knight not only has a pentacle but it looks as though he has a wand so he's not just coming in with a physical tangible um thing to offer you libra he also he's worked or she's worked to manifest you who is this person with their eye on Libra? They may come across as very feminine, whether they're a man or a woman, they may come across just with feminine, very soft features, okay? But big, beautiful eyes I'm getting. Your eyes, you could, you could get lost in their eyes, Libra. Next then we had the Four of Wands. So two people are interested in you, Libra. Um, there's that lucky number four. Maybe the number four pertains to you. Um, some of you are dealing with a Drew, an Andy, an Andrew. 
uh, while those of you are dealing with an Ollie or a Connor, you may have met this person or one of your people in the workplace. And I say this because it's really the choice is yours. You can go in either direction off with either one of these people and it's totally up to you, which is why I'm not surprised that next in your energy, Libra, was this seven of pentacles. When I see the seven, yes, it can be lucky, but when it comes to the cups, even the pentacles, I think of things being a bit out of balance, okay? One person is working harder than the other. I also think of being thirsty. This can be you right in the middle with all of these potential suitors surrounding you, and you're not quite sure, Libra, which way to go. You know that you could have any one of these people and you're kind of feeling yourself from that, but you're also very logical. I don't like to say indecisive. You just like to make a well-rounded decision, Libra. That's all that is. And please know that you are going to make that well-rounded decision because <laughs> next in your energy, the 10 of cups the happiest card in the tarot deck for my fellow Libras. Let's claim this. Ten of Cups is everything coming into alignment. Your hopes, your dreams, the seeds you planted bearing fruit, everything is coming to fruition for you. This is pure bliss, happiness, feeling whole, not just in your partnership, but as an individual. Some of you recently dyed your hair like a red auburn color and it looks good on you. Some of you are trying to eat a more fresh, organic diet, eating your vegetables, I see. Some of you <laughs> may be uh, eating your vegetables alone. I'm also getting, as in the other people in your family, they're not they're not with the veggies being the main course, but you are. You're trying to level up, Libra. That's always you. Three steps ahead of the game, so no one seems to understand Libra. Some of you watching may be in the UK, or you may be interested in someone from the UK. All right, then. Next in your energy, this has been popping out in so many readings, the Three of Pentacles. This also popped out in Gemini's reading, as did air sign energy. So maybe some of my Libras are dealing with a Gemini. But with this Three of Pentacles, this is a beautiful dynamic in matters of finance and business. This is, I fill your cup, then you fill mine, then it trickles down, and then we recycle. This is just a well balanced machine. Now when it comes to matters of love, this can be third party situation. This can be you, I'm getting that it's you Libra, who's interested in someone else, not just your partner. Maybe you're toying with the idea of polygamy or polyamory. You're going to have to speak to your partner about this if you haven't already. But for now, I get the fact that you're just sweeping it under the rug and kind of pretending like you don't feel this way like you you feel like it's unnatural to... sorry once again for the sound you feel as though other people are going to see it as unnatural maybe you're even ashamed of yourself for feeling this way about two people libra but this is this is for a reason and then we move forward doubling that three of pentacles into the six of pentacles so maybe some of you are gonna have a threesome or you might entertain this third person but never take it to that level with this person. The, the Six of Pentacles makes a beautiful pyramid, okay? I'm just gonna leave that right there, okay, okay. <laughs> Lastly then, we had the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords here. So yes, a lot of imbalance in this reading. Um, aside from that Ten of Cups, this is very confusing energy. You have a lot of pentacles, so money is clearly on your mind. But this four of wands, you're thinking about taking a different path, whether that be in business or with a new person. But with this ten of cups sitting here, it's just letting me know that you possess all that you need for that ultimate happiness. So regardless of what you choose, this ten of cups, that's your fate. So rest easy, Libra. I know you can be in your head, especially with this seven of swords, air energy, 
overthinking communication, trying to search for balance, not wanting to rock the boat. You know, I want to know who this Knight of Pentacles is. So let me just see if we can't. <laughs> Nine of Cups. This is a beautiful dynamic. Whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, this is your person. This is balance in a, in a relationship. And maybe that's why it has you feeling so guilty. You know you should feel, feel fulfilled with this person, but for some reason, you're just not feeling 100%. You're just not quite in that 10 of cups, but it is coming. And on the bottom of the deck here, none other than your beautiful energy Libra with the Empress, fruitful, naked no. <laughs> nudist by nature all right let's end with a message from the lovers oracle deck go ahead write down on a piece of paper your person's name say it aloud put your energy into this reading about the clarity that you're wishing to receive if you're ever interested in donating if this reading is resonating give it a big thumbs up or you can find ways to donate if you feel inclined there's absolutely no pressure, but all of that info is down below as well in the description box. Spirit, please show my Libras what it is that they need to see. All right, let's take the one from the top. Here's the depiction on the front. And on the back it reads, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Wow. So if the money has really been on your mind, know that you are wealthy in spirit. You are abundant in love and happiness, Libra. This was truly an air sign Libra reading because it was all over the place, much like our minds are, but the ten of cups the happiest card in the deck my leaves i never say leaves please don't judge me if you're still here all right beautiful libras <laughs> i'm sending you into the rest of your week with so much love and light until next time namaste